Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be explaining what sauna stove you should get and which one would probably work best for you. Now the main thing with sauna stoves is there's either electric or there's wood powered. Personally, I like wood powered stoves. That's what I grew up on. That's what my grandmother had and that my uncle built at our house. Now the reason why I went with electric when it came to my sauna is number one, there is really nowhere to put any chimney or pipe vent or something to get the smoke out of here. And number two was the convenience. See with the electric stove, this one here, I can turn it on and in about 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, it's ready to go. And with a wood one, I'd have to light it probably two to three hours as soon as I'd get home. And then I wouldn't be taking a sound up till about 9.30 at night. Cause usually when I get home from work, especially in the winter, it's late been working in a cold all day. I just want to get out of the truck, come in here, take my work boots off, walk over here, turn this thing on, and it's ready in about a half hour. And it's just very convenient for me. It's not as hot or as brutal as a wood-fired stove, but um, I mean, I like it. And electric stoves are convenient. A lot of people in our community, if they're elderly or if they have basically no kids to light your wood stove while you're at work, <laughs> they'll go with electric. Now this stove here, this one is made by Finlandia. I ordered it directly from Finland. It's a 28 amp stove. Finlandia makes, I think about four different size stoves. This one here is their mid range. So it's about their medium size one. And whenever I had looked, I had to measure the square footage, well, the cubic square foot of this sauna. And this one here is rated for up to 300 cubic feet. My sauna is about 245, so it's, it works perfect. Now, you, I think their biggest stove they have heats up to, I think it's like 900 cubic feet. It's, it's a big stove, and I think it's about 33 or 34 amps. Now, this one here, whenever I wired it, this thing's wired directly into my panel obviously and I ran a 10-3 wire which is rated for up to 30 amps so 28 is perfect for this thing it'll never override anything now as far as turning the thing on these controls here this is like your thermostat you always have this maxed out if you're a true fin if you're a Swede Swedish you can go about right there American right there fin all the way so that thermostat it never really kicks on or shuts the stove down from overheating and that's what this metal box is up here It's like a safety thing. I've never had it shut the stove down and the reason why is because I unhooked it I didn't need any of that safety stuff I'm still alive But anyway with these controls, I'm actually gonna start this thing because my cousin's over and he wants to sauna so to start it You click this over and see where this big one is Hear that clunk it's actually working right now so these other smaller numbers on this stove on these finlandias they have um a set timer so you can go to number eight and that means it'll count down eight hours and it'll kick on by itself so if you want it to start up right away like i just did you just come over to the the smaller one here and you click it back to the clunks and it'll run for exactly one hour and then it'll shut off and it won't ever turn on again until you come in here and switch it so it's pretty easy. Now Finlandia, my grandparents have one and they had one in their older house when I was a little kid. So they, they've been around for a long time. And um, you can all, not only do they have these controls where it's run on the stove, if you wanna spend a little bit more money and get the digital system, what they'll do is they'll send you a digital box that'll go on the outside of your sauna or on the outside of the dressing room. And there'll be like a small thermostat signal wire that'll run to that box. You control it all digitally, so you don't have to come in here and turn any dials. Now that upgrade with a Finlandia stove, that'll run you about probably, I think they're 500 bucks for the upgrade. So I didn't want to spend the money. I mean, this thing was already 1500 bucks. So it would have been about two grand. So that's why I went with everything you see here. Now there are different brands of stoves that are made in the States. There's some made in China. If you go on Amazon, you can get a sauna stove for about 300 bucks, 250 is the cheapest I've seen. And I see a lot of people on YouTube buy like the cheapo stoves on Amazon. There's nothing wrong with that, but they ain't gonna last long. 
So a lot of guys will just buy like the cheap stove and they'll probably get three or maybe three, three and a half, four years out of it. There's no warranty on them. These ones here, they have a lifetime warranty. As long as you fill out the paperwork that comes with this stove and it's from the electrician that wired it and stuff. Now I didn't do it with mine because I know the reliability of these things and I, I wired it myself. So, and I'm not an electrician. I'm just a guy that lives in the woods and runs heavy machinery. But, um, so that's why mine obviously avoided the warranty right away, but I have a lot of faith in this company. Now there is a high-end stove company called Kuma and Kuma is thin for hot. It's spelled K-U-U-M-A. Those are the top of the line stoves you can get, but they're extremely expensive. And their whole construction of that stove, it's all stainless steel, so it's, it's never gonna rust or corrode or anything. And them things will be around for 25, 30 years and never fail you. And I, I think those stoves, you can spend up to about $3,000 on a Kuma brand. They're really nice. I, I'm not planning on staying in this house forever, so I didn't really go with a very expensive high-end stove. I just did, did the Finlandia like a lot of my family does because it, it does the job and it'll, it'll last years. And we have a lot of faith in them, so that's why I went with fin Finlandia in particular. Now there is some stoves, when you get them, none of them are made by Finlandia that don't have rocks, and the purpose for the rocks is they retain heat. And basically it's it's a healthier stove if it has rocks on there because when you're throwing out water on there to generate steam, basically your steam generation is coming from these rocks right here, not so much the heating elements that's down inside there. So that's the purpose of the rocks. And when you order a Finlandia stove, it comes with rocks. It's kind of weird that I got rocks from Finland, but you know, it's all right. Now, if you do go with a wood stove, obviously you want to use a cast iron stove cast iron constructed, which 100% basically of wood stoves are cast iron. But if you go to get your own rocks to put on top of that wood stove, you wanna make sure you use river rock that's rounded over, it's like a hard granite. And the reason for that is if you use like regular rock that you find in the ground, a lot of times what happens is they'll actually explode when you throw water on them and you, you don't want hot rock shrapnel flying all over you and the sound and that's just that's not good so don't do that make sure you get some nice rounded river rock you can buy them at Lowe's if you live down in like the southern part of the country where you don't really see much river rock so that was an idea for you and you want to make sure that you put like a guard or something around your stove I mean I don't have one around mine obviously because it's too tight in there it did come with one like a little wooden rail so nobody burns their body or anything getting close to it because oh, then things get hot that's why you want to make sure it's away from the wood with tile behind it and a metal drippage and stuff to protect your wood from catching on fire. That's all I've got to say about sauna stoves in my opinion. But um, if you want to see more of my content, just don't forget to subscribe, like the video. And um, yeah, you do you. Thanks for stopping by.